Hey there, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we'll be talking about this. This is a quick release top handle that can slide back and forth along the length of larger rigs. This is particularly important for larger rigs, uh, specifically if you've got longer or heavier lenses out the front. Uh, it's great to be able to slide your top handle and slide your quick release top handle uh, to balance that when you're holding the rig by the top handle. Having a top handle that slides along the length of the camera body is usually reserved for really expensive top handles uh, such as ARRI top handles. You can get the CCH4 and CCH4 sliding adapter. Um, the ARRI Amira also has a sliding top handle um, and there's some quite expensive sliding top handles that go back and forth along the length of the camera. The most common sliding top handles are uh, side to side of the camera and they're really just used on NATO rails for quick release. But the back to front sliding system of a top handle can really help you balance a camera, uh, particularly a larger camera where you don't know the weight of the lens you'll be using. So these are pretty cheap to put together yourself. I think I spent $150 and that was on some uh, relatively premium parts, uh, but they can be put together much, much cheaper than that. Compared to a bright tangerine, ARRI or uh, wooden camera sliding back and forth top handle, they can run you about $400 here in Australia. Whereas this one, $150 is uh, with some reasonably premium parts, you could make it for about $100 or less as well. So this is adaptable to lower budgets than the more premium products. So this custom sliding quick release top handle uh, can fit with most camera packages. All you need for it to work with your camera is to have a top cheese plate or cage or something with quarter 20 holes on the top of your camera. So if I'm not looking to balance out my rig and I'm just after ergonomics or comfort, I can actually slide my EVF forward and backwards on this uh, sliding back and forth top plate. That lets me get the distance to my eye correct so that I'm not like craning my neck back or doing anything weird pushing my neck forward, I can just be comfortable with the extra amount of adjustment. This is really great with uh, longer lenses uh, where the camera is pushed back uh, over your shoulder. I can really move that EVF forward in front of the camera to uh, make it a bit more comfortable. Or if I'm on really short lenses, I can move it back over the camera's body and that's a bit more comfortable as well. So really anything you put on this top handle can be adjusted back and forth depending on what you'd like. And if you haven't guessed it already, it can also be reversed. So if I didn't have the EVF on here and instead I had a screen and I wanted to run this all the way back because I was sitting behind the tripod, I could do that. Not only that, you can undersling your camera. Because this is a standard uh, quick release plate, you can actually put a tripod head inverted and clamp into the quick release plate uh, on top of your camera to get even lower shots. So I've got some more premium and extra things on here to make my life easier, but you can start with something even, but you can start with something much more simple than this if you're looking to save some money. Alrighty, so first things first, what you need to do is make sure you have a cheese plate or some quarter 20s on the top of your camera. Then you need to buy an Arca Swiss quick release plate. These usually go underneath your camera and uh, Arca Swiss is a pretty uh, well-known quick release plate. You put them underneath your camera and then you can clamp into an Arca Swiss uh, tripod head or um, an adapter. So Arca Swiss, really well known. Um, you can't go wrong with them as, you can't buy the wrong one as there's only one type of Arca Swiss. You could do this with other quick release plates. Uh, originally I had a Manfrotto style quick release plate on the top of here. It's much wider though, um, and it only slides on uh, from the back, which not the most convenient. Uh, the Arca Swiss one, you can actually just drop it on anywhere and tighten it down. Uh, so it's much more easier rather than having to slide it on from the back of the camera. So choose an Arca Swiss plate length that you like. Um, this will determine how far you can actually slide your top handle back and forth along the top of the camera. I've chosen a particularly long 30 centimeter length one here, uh, which goes all the way from my V-Lock battery and past the front of the camera, which gives me 30 centimeters of travel for the top handle to go along. Lots of balancing, 
uh, room or adjustability. The reason I went with a particularly large one is because even if I have the top handle up the front here, I can actually get a, another quick release clamp on the back of it and mount accessories that I want to be quick released from the back of the camera. So it's more than just a top handle quick release system. You can mount accessories on the back here like monitors, or you might go with something like an audio receiver, wireless transmitter, and then that's quick releasable off the back of the camera. So that's why I went with a really long 30 centimeter one. As well, I tend to use sports lenses out the front or longer cine lenses, uh, and they tend to uh, weigh the front of the camera down. So you sort of want to slide the top handle as far forward as you can. So the Arca Swiss plates that I've seen for sale uh, come in 30 centimeters like this, 20 centimeters, 10 centimeters, and there's some much shorter ones as well if you really don't need the back and forth uh, adjustment. So the next thing you need to choose is an Arca Swiss quick release clamp. So you've got the plate, Arca Swiss, then you need a Arca Swiss clamp. So this is a small rig one that just does that to lock onto the Arca Swiss plate. Um, it's very easy to do. I had one that you'd twist a knob on um, to tighten it down, and I like that one too, but this one is just a bit easier and quicker to do than twisting a knob a hundred times to lock on a quick release plate, particularly because you don't have a lot of room to get your fingers in to um, twist a knob, so having something that is a sideways action um, is just a bit easier for me. So this one works like this, drop it on the top, and then you've got this silver lever and you just pull back on that silver lever and then it's locked nice and solid. If it's a bit loose, you can undo it and tighten an Allen screw in there a little bit and then reclamp it and see if it's tighter. But once the Allen screw is set there, it's set for quite a long time. Mine hasn't come loose. The other thing you need is a top handle that you can mount to your quick release clamp. So I've gone here with a NATO rail handle. You can see the NATO rail attached there. That's just because this is the top handle I had uh, as a quick release sideways sliding top handle. So I was just working with what I had. If you've got a top handle that you can reuse, uh, that might not be a bad idea to save some money and reuse the top handle. And at this point, you've got everything you need. You bolt your top handle onto the quick release clamp and then you can attach it to there. But there's a few extra things that I've added to mine that you might want to think about. I've also added this cable retention clip by Small Rig. It mounts to anything with a quarter 20 and then it's spring loaded so you can just pop a cable in there, let go and it'll hold onto the cable. This keeps my screen and viewfinder cables clamped away out of the way of my hand catching on it as I go to grab the top handle. The other thing I've added because I use an EVF and microphone that attaches to a rod mount is I've got a rod mount here. I believe this is a Camvate one that also has some NATO rail on the front of the uh, rod mount where the uh, bolts go in. So I've got a 15 millimeter rod mount and then a NATO rail there if I want to attach something NATO rail. So if you want to make one exactly like this, I think the quick release clamp was $50. The uh, Arca Swiss plate was $20 and the top handle was about $50 as well. So about $120 to make a sliding back and forth top handle. Then you can add on your extras if you'd like. You can also do this cheaper with a screw on clamp. I've seen them go for as little as $15. You can also get cheaper top handles. And then this is pretty much always about $15 to $20 for an Arca Swiss plate. So even with that cost of $150 for a sliding top handle, you are still way under what Arri or Bright Tangerine or Wooden Camera charge. Uh, so you're saving a fair bit of money. I'd highly recommend that if you've gotten rid of the top handle of your camera and have gone to slant quick release, uh, to consider going a sliding back and forth quick release handle. It can really help with the adaptability of your rig, uh, holding your camera in low positions for shots and just all round comfort. If you've given this a go, uh, tag me in a post on Instagram. I'll drop my handle down there. Love to see what you've come up with. So this is the first video I've ever seen about an affordable custom sliding back and forth top handle. So if you liked the video and found it interesting or are gonna give it a go, uh, drop a like down below. If you've got any questions, love to help you out to help you 
uh, make a better sliding top handle. So drop a comment down below and I'll answer all your questions. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, hit subscribe. I've got some new ideas coming to you soon. Until then, I'll see you next time.